So now that we know how, there's a lot of bloopers and this shouldn't be there. So, okay. Hello and welcome to this interview with Jimmy Strange. How did you get into magic in the first place? Or do you ever perform magic or maybe just creating? What's your thing? I got into magic at an early age. Um, my parents got me a magic set. It okay. just happened to be a Paul Daniels magic set oh, at that time. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, and once I got into it, I caught the bug as it were. And, yes, um, yes, okay. I know what that's like. Mm. And I used to go to the library and get magic books out. Okay, because there was not YouTube back in the day. So yeah. No, 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 it was just... So it had to be libraries. And that's how you started. And then when did you change from performing? Or do you still perform? Yeah, I do. I'm, it's more... I, I am a performer as well, a professional magician. But it's more on the creating side okay. now. Um, okay. I focus all my attention. Okay. Let's talk about your passion for creating magic. Mm. How did this come about? Is it a muscle that you can develop? Or can anyone create magic? I think, yeah, you obviously there's a flair for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm quite a creative person. I'm, mm -hmm. um, I started a lot, a lot of my stuff as a musician, okay. um, and I, I write songs. At the time when I got into magic, I couldn't really afford magic tricks because okay. obviously they're quite some of them are quite expensive. Yeah. And what I ended up doing is just coming up with my own ideas and, and creating my own magic, and you know, going to my shed and into my workshop mm -hmm. and. That's such a good point because mm. most people go to a magic shop and mm. they'll say, oh, I like that, I'll buy that. And they'll buy it, they'll see the instructions, they'll do it right away. But I think a true magician or a creator would go, you know, I want to make this my own or like, oh, that's too expensive. Let me see if I can come up with something. Or mm. they'll look at something on TV or, or, or and then how could I create? Because I spoke to Luke Osland a while ago and uh, he's also talking about the similar things where he's like, yeah. oh, it's, I don't want to spend my money on that. I'm going to make my own. That's right. And that's yeah. a very good point. So that's how you started doing it. Yes. So tell, tell me about your, because I know you spoke to me earlier about Dynamo using one of your creations on his TV show and things things like that. Yeah, one of my first effects. I mean, I, I got back into magic mm -hmm. um, because of street magic. Oh, okay. I, I went away from magic, um, sort of the st stage magic. I sort of stay, stay clear of that. But I saw um, uh, David Blaine for okay. the first time. Yeah. And I was, wow, it, it blew me away. And I love that street, that urban mm -hmm. kind of magic. So I started inventing magic with everyday props, okay. you know, and um, Dynamo did use one of my effects um, called Deceptus, which is a, a, an oversized object through the bottom of a can that gets mm -hmm. locked in the can and you have to cut it out. Um, oh, that's yours. Yeah, I that's, think yeah I, it's called yeah, Deceptus. That's, that's, that's so, amazing. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, that was one of my first effects and I had the privilege of Dynamo using that on his TV. And that put, put you on the map and then everyone does. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And then you had your things with Murphy. So what? Talk, talk us through the process of creating. So when you create and you get an idea, do you just make a prototype or do you consult someone else who's... Do you actually make things yourself? I've got, and I'm sure a lot of creators know, or they do the same process. You have a book. Okay. Normally I write down loads and loads of ideas, the effects that I want to achieve. And then you go through this whole process. Sometimes it can take up to a year for that whole process. So you'll go through, you'll make a prototype. You, you sort of go through this thing where you think how that would work. So you make a prototype. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it fails, sometimes it works. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to put that down and then think of a different method. Right. So you have to go through this long process of trial and error, I think, until you achieve. So effect. you think of the effect. You say like, that's what I want to do. Mm. That's what I want to try and make or create or sell to the magic community. Yes. And then you think of how you could do that. Yes. Right, so that's, yes. that's your thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then once you do that, then you send it to a manufacturer to make it or do you make it yourself? Depends how... Oh, it depends on the, on the product. Uh, yeah, right. on the yeah. product. Um, one of my effects, Strongman, I made a prototype mm -hmm. and then I thought, I can't make this. It was making a, a, a nut and bolt. I, I physically couldn't make it, so right. I, I made a pro one off prototype that I had to go to abroad okay. uh, for them to be mass produced. Right, um, right. And but a more, majority of the time, I if I can, I will create it in in my own workshop. Okay. Yeah. So then you've you've made that you mass produce it, you you bring it back, and how do you market yourself? Is it through Murphy's and these leading magic stores? Or yeah, I mean Murphy's have got a, a section on their website where it says you can pitch your magic okay. to them. Okay. Okay. Uh, so if you've got any any ideas, you can go to Murphy's, send upload, uh, just take a small video of it. Okay. The effect, send okay. it to Murphy's, and if they like it, they will get in contact with you. Okay. 
And then once you make a name for yourself and you're a famous creator, people mm. can come straight to you, right? You would build up your yeah, social media and something. You get, you get, obviously, you'll get a fan base as well. Right. So people like your particular style of mm. magic and they, they, they will contact you. You can okay. obviously go down making a website or I use Facebook a lot. Okay, um, okay. Yeah. So we're going to leave your, in, uh, in fact, let's, let's do it right now. So mm. what is your Facebook? Do you, is that where you have most of your fans? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I use my, I mean, I've got a creator's name, which is Jimmy Strange, Jimmy Strange but yeah. um, people know me on Facebook as Tim Burt. <laughs> okay, then how did you come up with Jimmy Strange then as a name? Oh dear, um, my, my middle name's Jimmy. Oh, okay. Um, and once somebody said you had a strange brain, so um, a strange I like way. that. So That's great. That's, Jimmy a, good strange, name. That's yeah. a good name, actually. And yeah, I like that. There's a musician called Steve Strange. Okay. So, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. And let's talk about your latest effects. So mm. there's something new that you're releasing to the Magic Community. Yes, yes. Yeah. So this is the first time. Well, is it released yet? No. It's just released today, okay. actually. Perfect. Um, it was on pre at Murphy's, but it's just released today. Okay. Super excited about mm. it. It was uh, come up with a year ago. So what's the effect? It's basically, I love creating magic using childhood okay. things, you know, memories. Yeah. And it's using, do you remember the telephone cups with string you used to have? Right, yes, uh, yes. You got a cup with a piece of string, string stretches across, yeah. and you talk to each other through it, yeah, secret yeah. messages. Yeah. And I basically had this idea, wouldn't it be great if you could hold a cup and using the parry of mind or telekinesis, a spectator would take the cup up the other end of the room. You just think of a card or, or, or a message or yeah. send anything just using your brain and they hear somebody speaking the other end. Wow. And you go no, you go nowhere near the cup with your, your mouth or anything. That's a so, total um, creator's brain. Mm. So now I think people want to know where they can purchase this or mm. where they can buy this. So where, where are you selling this? Is it through Murphy's or do you have your own? I mean, to you? it mainly goes through, Murphy's got exclusivity over it. Okay, so, okay. Um, so they, they have to go to Murphy's to Yeah, buy. not okay. to Murphy's, it's, Murphy's are the um, wholesalers. Okay. So Murphy's will supply it to all good magic shops in this ah, country, right, in, in England or in America as well. Okay. okay. So it's, it's worldwide. So now that we realize where you can purchase all of these wonderful creations from Jimmy Strange, I'm gonna leave all his links in the details below this video. And if you like this, before we go, I think Goldie, He's got some advice for you, so let's listen to what Goldie has to say. But otherwise, you guys have a great time wherever you are, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I do want to say, in fact, we were standing downstairs. We've got a we've got a similar passion, you mm. can say, of horror movies. We love watching <laughs> horror movies, and uh, I don't know why. I just thought I'll tell you that because before we were waiting to come up to the room, we spent an app about twenty minutes just mm. looking at movies and a lot of movies. Anyways, I don't know why I said that. It's probably going to go in the bloopers, anyways. <laughs> Murphy's, what was, was, that, what was my question? I think it was about uh, how did you, so once you pitched to Murphy's. Yeah, you. Oh, yes, so. <laughs> how? <laughs> okay, that's the thumbnail. What's that? <laughs> I just got a signature pro as I do. Oh, you do this sort of. Yeah, I just do this pro Okay, so, um, okay, so yeah. that's, that's, your, that's a beginning step to that's do That's how I, yeah. And then once you develop a, a name and a brand for yourself, mm -hmm. then. <laughs> Well, that's all right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> that, was a bit of an outtake, that was great. Yeah, that's, that's a great outtake. So now that we know how, <laughs> that's a lot of bloopers in this. It shouldn't be there. Okay. Hi, guys. I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'm gonna do a home visit. <laughs>